Hey guys, it's Natsumi, and so today I thought um, I would actually help you guys out who are supporting on how exactly to support. Um, I main most of the supports, so I thought I could definitely help you out about like warding and the zoning thing. Anyways, um, generally, when I play support, I will start off with a fairy From charm my mind to yours, with four wards to and a pot. Um, it's just, you know, uh, the general start for most supports, like Soraka, Asuna, um, Janna, and uh, oh, just about anybody, pretty much. And for spells, I usually take heal and flash. Uh, flash for escape and heal a is pretty useful in lane if your AD gets harassed a lot or just to save lives basically your own too not just your AD. 30 seconds um, minion spawn. If you end up on this team on this side generally we take the double golems and um, you can leash it for your AD when it comes up and then your AD can stand right over here or like right on this Quarter side and then you, you will pull it and walk this way so that they can continue hitting it and then they'll take aggro and you'll hit it until they get the exp and yeah generally they wouldn't invade your golems but sometimes you may find that um they come through this tri brush right here to steal it so usually you would stand here to guard and then when time comes you would go over to the golems and do it okay so Minions have spawned, and they're heading to lane. So you have to be careful about face checking this first brush. Excited Sometimes you can see can and push. watch um, when the minion wave hits, whether they come to last hit it or not, just to see like where they may or may not be. Um, sometimes you can rush straight in if you got balls. With perfect um, that's usually what I do, which is pretty funny. Um, right now I don't have anybody helping me make this video, so I thought I would just kind of do this by myself. but. Generally, as um, support, oh you stay in this brush and not out here as much because you don't want someone from the enemy team coming from this brush into Delicate. this brush. And since you don't have sight of whatever's in here because, well, um, like if you don't have a ward in here or someone standing in here, then they can zone you out this way. Um, With usually. Tempo. Regardless of which team you're on, whether you're on this team, which is the blue team, or the purple team, um, you would put a ward right here in this tri brush. Accelerated movement, I concur. And or, depending on whether you can leave your lane far enough, right here where Dragon would be, or just a little bit below around this From spot right here, because yours. that way you can see. Um, Pretty much from this line right here, all the way into the entrance of this. So if you're paying attention, you actually don't need to ward this brush right here because you will be able to see whether they're coming from this side or this side. Um, ideally, obviously, you would put a ward right here, and you would also put a ward up at Dragon. That way, you can as you can look on the map. You can see there and there, the two entrances they could possibly come from. Now the third place they, they, that they can come from is this brush right here. So for example, um, this wave is pushed and you can't actually see this brush right now. Or you wouldn't look all the way up there. So what basically ends up happening is that the enemy team's jungler, um, since their wave is pushed towards your side, they'll come through this brush and then their team will wait for you to, to push so that they can come out of this bush and Quarter gank you. Um, another tip in lane would be try your best to not get poked, obviously, as you're the support. And try not to let your AD get poked for free. So, I mean, if their support is poking your AD, then make sure you try and poke them too. Especially if you're playing Sona or someone, you can definitely Q burst and use a power cord. Um, so let's see, what else should I cover? Right, do not steal CS from your AD. And uh, if your AD is not CSing properly, then scream at them or something. Because uh, that's definitely like their job. They need to be getting last hits. 
So, I'm just gonna tell you guys some other good places to ward. Um, if you're talking about offensive warding, definitely they're blue right here. Um, just to keep it, like, keep track of whether their jungler or their AP mid is taking it, so that you guys may be able to contest or invade. I um, I don't know if you have free time for some reason. You can ward for your mid, um, if you're up here. Ward right here, or right around here. These two places are also good to ward. Um... If you end up getting an oracles, this is like the most popular place to check um, from the uh, because the enemy team will most likely put a ward right here because it's the entrance into the dragon area and also um, they just they would ward it because it's where your team jungler would go from into this rush to, to um, gank them. If you guys are um, at a disadvantage and they're playing in the offensive. I would most likely ward this With brush right here, um, and also check this if you have oracles, and also your red, because you want the most amount of control over your jungle as, as possible. And let's see, let me just roam upwards. So basically the most popular places would be this, this, the blue over here. From they're my mind to yours. They're red. And uh, they're blue, basically. So, likewise, um, this brush right here, very popular place to ward. I concur. Um, in terms of Baron, you definitely want to ward this right here, or you can ward a little bit closer with a pink ward, just to make sure that um, they don't have wards in here. Or if you have an oracles, then you have to go in there to check. This brush is also another good place, or this brush right here. And uh, your team would most likely ward this right here, just to prevent ganks at mid. And definitely this one right here, just to check that, you know, they don't have like a lease in or someone chilling out here with a ward, and then all of a sudden they would Act just like a queue legend. in. And this one right here, and this one right here. So yeah, those are basically, basically these brushes. Just like don't ward random things and you just have to know um, you also have to take timers as a support um, like for example uh, like buffs I think are five minutes um, the dragon is six minutes yeah six minutes and I think Baron is seven or eight that's so funny <laughs> I can't remember right now um, all wards are three minutes so if someone puts down a ward and like I put it down right now, it's 802, then it'll be 1102 when that ward expires. So if you see someone from the enemy team um, putting down a ward, you can definitely from ping mind and mind type into yours. your chat something like 1102 try brush so that your jungler knows not to go through there or if they have oracles to clear it before they gank, um, just so that they don't get counter ganked, basically. So. Another thing that you guys, uh, that a support can do is zone. So basically what happens is, uh, if the wave, say, is pushed towards our side right here, and their AD is standing all the way back out here, then I can walk into this brush right here and zone them out by, and, and basically I would be denying them of EXP because, um, their minions, like our minions are having Delicately. a fight down here, but they're actually standing up there, so they're way too far away, and the fact that I'm standing in this brush, I can hurt them, so because they don't want me to hurt them, they'll stay back here, Accelerate and they'll be denied of the XP. So that's called zoning. Now the one thing you don't want to uh, don't want to happen to your AD is for your AD to be zoned. So basically, um, if the situation, if that situation happens to you instead, like if someone's standing in this brush, then it's very simple. Ward it. Like if the wave is Quarter pushing time. back right about here, and you have to be right beside your tower, and you're like, oh crap, I wonder who's in this brush right now. Well, don't, <laughs> don't punish yourself. Have your support perfect um, ward this brush right here, and then you'll be able to see what's happening in that brush. 
and then you'll be able to hit the creeps, right? That way, um, you won't be scared to play a little bit more aggressive. Just as long as everything is warded properly, and um, yeah, pretty much you'll be safe. Um, just one other small tip is sometimes it'll be like minions will come up to the tower, and it might be the support's job to actually hit it once. So that the how the tower hits it twice, and then the AD Harmonize. will be able to get the last hit. Because sometimes the as the game goes on, the the tower's damage gets more and more powerful. So the minions Adagio, summoner. Um, get killed in two hits, so the AD can't actually get the last hit. So yeah, that's another like thing that you may or may not consider, depending on the whether like, the AD can time, um, the damage properly. But yeah, definitely supporting is not. Uh, I mean, it's not like really, really easy, but it's not really, really hard either. You just need to know what to do, and you just need to um, be also be careful of your positioning. Be careful of um, when to be aggressive, when not to be. Always keep an eye out for the river, always. Um, you can always keep like um, keep an eye on top and mid too. Just ping, just take a look, uh, but still pay attention to your own lane. Um, so usually with the fairy charm, I will build it into a philosopher's stone, and then eventually like I'll get some boots, but your first priority is always wards, 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 pink and green. Wards, 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 wards. Okay, guys? Alright. See you guys next time.